I really can't imagine what Microsoft Research would be like without, without Jim Kajia. I met Jim for the first time about 1975. He was working for Evans & Sutherland building one of the first commercial frame buffers, which the University of Utah had bought. Well, the University of Utah was one of the first places that made computer graphics a respectable discipline to study academically. So it was good to having that as, as a place where people could make enough progress to show the rest of the world that this was you know, something worth studying as well. From a Microsoft perspective, one of the key things he's helped to do is create our 3D graphics group. I mean, he came here in 1994, and within 18 months of being here, he would really helped to create one of the top 3D graphics groups in the world. And in 1996, close to 20% of all the papers at SIGGRAPH, which is the top conference in the field, had an author from Microsoft. I mean, that was just a tremendous achievement in a very short period of time. One of Jim's main accomplishments is what they call a rendering equation, which was kind of an observation or generalization of how light interacts with surfaces uh, from a computer graphics point of view, which serves as a basis of kind of how all possible images can be made. He helped to create the underlying technologies that eventually became part of our DirectX, which is our gaming or graphics technologies for Windows. That then led to other things that we've done, such as the work on the Xbox and the Xbox 360. So he's had a huge impact. I would say Jim Kajia is probably the smartest person that I know. So he is really dedicated. And one of the stories people talk about a lot is how when he and Barbara got married, they went down to the Justice of the Peace and got married on his lunch hour at ENS. And afterwards, he went back to work. I think he's, he's a puzzle solver. He, he likes tackling hard problems. He's not really phased by trying to attack a problem maybe in an area that he's not quite as familiar with because he'll quickly learn it. You know, I'll see him pile up bunches of books in his office and, and just pour through them to, to learn something he needs to know to solve a problem. One of Jim's nice things he does at Microsoft is as a magnet for other people to come here. Uh, a lot of people want to work with him and so the fact that he's here means you know you can get lots of other good people working at Microsoft. The legacy I'd say is not just a legacy of algorithms but it's a legacy of people. Congratulations, Jim. <laughs>